Alright, so uh, we're, uh, we're sitting here with two lovely ladies. Oh, yeah. Uh, how far out? Um, I'm six months. Six months. Yeah. So you're senior now. You graduated, I'm, I'm right? Graduated. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, I have mine in March, and in March. Yeah, everything has been smooth so far. I haven't had any complications. Everything's been okay. I always ask this question, that it was bad, especially at the at the follow up marks, so six months and like one year. So. How did your life change after right that? I think the amount of food that I was eating has drastically reduced. Because before, when I sit down, you know, it was unlimited. The amount of food I could eat was unlimited. But now I could only eat just a portion of food, which is great in my case because I was, you know, like they say you are what you eat, and that was what I was eating. <laughs> I put so much weight. I was, um, I said, yeah, I was between 87 and 90 kilograms when I came there to do the surgery, but now I'm 65, which is incredible. I mean, within six months, so I lost that amount of weight. So you're down from 90 to 65. So 65, exactly. I'm tiny, I'm size, I was size. 14 to 16 at that time. I'm eight, size eight, eight, ten now, which is great, and I feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so tell people what kind of surgery. I chose you because I didn't like to have scars on my tummy. That was it was not negotiable for me because I know that I'm susceptible to kilos. And if I was to go the normal route, my tummy would fill up scars, which would be a bit unsightly for me. So I've done a lot of research and I preferred you because we're consultants and we're lecturers and I felt I'd be more comfortable and safer in your hands. That's why I chose you. And I haven't regretted it because I don't have any scars yeah. on my tummy. So where are your scars? I can't see them. Uh, I can't so see exactly the scars. Right. So, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so, so it's, what? It's Th been 35 journey. kilos off oh, later exactly. and no scars. No scars. I don't know. I don't, I don't have words. It's yeah, beyond um, satisfactory, <laughs> I would say. Um, it's been an amazing journey and um, if I was to do it again, I would do it over again. I'd do it with you yeah. as well. Yeah. So, so happy. Yeah, it's really, 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 really so happy. Yeah, um, um, How about you? What, that was your so experience? I'm six weeks Sunday um, and again no complications, everything's gone well for me. Um, still obviously learning everything at the moment, I've not graduated like you. Um, so I'm still getting used to obviously the portion sizes and what I can eat, what I can't eat and everything else but I've had no problems so it's all good and I'll, I'll, obviously I've lost 33 pounds in five and a half weeks. Five. When yeah, did you start so, feeling the difference? Um, I don't know, probably week three or the four. Because I lost 16 pounds in my first week. So, well, not even my first week. So, when I flew out to Egypt on Sunday, I was 16 stone 11, I think. And then when I got back, I was 15 stone 11. So, that was for five days, I lost 16 pounds. Um, so, I already knew flying home my clothes were looser. But it was a bit of a shock getting on the scale and seeing that much off. Yeah. But yeah, then within about two, three more weeks after that, I know that's when I really noticed the differences. And I even now it's only two stone only, but my back has started to um, be in less pain, and so that's my chronic pain condition. So all of those are recovering, which is nice. And I've gone from a size 18, 20 to a 14 to 16. So. Yeah. And I'm only six, well, five weeks, so yeah. I bet this is a really good feeling. Yeah. And then I see you that <laughs> six months down the line. Uh, you yeah. have a target now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm skinny. <laughs> the skinniest. <laughs> One thing I will say, it's nice that you're on WhatsApp and that we can contact you at any point because there is, I've seen a lot of other people where they've not, they have to go through about five people to get to their surgeon and even then they're waiting two weeks to hear an answer back, whereas we've got you all the time, yeah. which is nice. And, and this is what I want, this is, uh, I want the follow-up, I want yeah. to see how it's going, because it's our, it's our duty to guide you on the right path. A lot of people drift off the path and this is the main reason why most of the surgeries fail. Uh, how would you break the experience uh, so everything from the hospital, from the arrival, from everything? I mean I've done a lot of surgery in other countries 
And if I was to rate the service that I received in Egypt, I think I'll quit at the top. Because I'm not, I'm a pro <laughs> when it comes to surgery. Because I've done all of other, in Europe, I've done like in Hungary, Turkey. And these are places where expectations, you know, people would think this, you know, westernized, is a western country, so, yeah. you know, you're going, you're going, you're going to be you get the same level as here. Yeah. In a very posh hospital, but what I encountered in Egypt was far superior to what the hospitals that I've been in, I mean, Turkey and Hungary. I think where you to, you done your surgery was far superior. You go there and you're like, oh my God, what hospital am I going to be in? And to find a place like where you had, you know, you took us to do the surgery was amazing. I think it's out of ten, I'll give it ten out of ten. It was, it was, it was dear. That's the same as me. My, yeah. my experience. How would you better. compare it to, to London here? Yeah. Better. Yeah. But then the actual care is so much better. Yeah. So the fact that you can ring a buzzer and somebody, someone comes. Yeah. 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 And like, and there's no questions asked if you're in pain. It's not like, oh well. No, we can't do it yet. No, all of this. It's, they want to do anything they can to get you out of pain. And the housekeeper as well. That's what I was impressed with. The amount of times that they were cleaning, like they were definitely cleaning. And they were all so friendly. I think that's the yeah. thing. Everyone that I came across. And it was my. It was, it was, it was genuine. It was. What they were doing it was like. They felt really happy with it. Yeah. Providing the service yeah. instead of being coerced, like. I'm Nothing, doing this because yeah. I'm, I'm being paid. Yeah. No, Nothing was too much trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, they'd be asked a question. Yeah. Nothing was too much exactly. trouble. Exactly. Yeah, you know. they, they keep sending me... Uh, oh, oh, you, I saw the picture, they took selfies yeah. with you and yeah. they're happy with it. Yeah, so the other thing was like, um, some of them would come and see me when they finished their shifts, mm. just to check to see oh, how really? I was going. Yeah, they're really lovely. Yeah. Very lovely. Really nice people. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is that they had... The diff main difference for me was that they had time to chat and have that patient care. Yeah. Yeah. Because over here it is very much of they it's come in, yeah, do your observations and it's quickly run out of the room. Whereas here it was like they could spend five minutes yeah. talking to you. Which was really nice. Yeah. So what's what's special about the surgery? What you obviously chose a certain technique for the surgery. Uh, can you can you walk us through uh, how you chose it and how it's different from other the, the typical or the conventional technique? Well, for me, firstly, I was booked in. I was actually booked in to go to Prague to have it done. And obviously, the reason why I got put off from that is because I saw um, lots of other people's incisions and obviously they had five big cuts all over their stomachs and lots of bruising and bad scarring. Yeah. Um, so then I started to look into it a bit more um, and I posted on some of the groups and that's when another lady actually posted a picture of her stomach and I was amazed and lots of people were amazed that she'd, I think she was day, day nine post-op when she posted it, but she literally had no bruising and she had these three tiny incisions that you could hardly even see and it was just amazing. And then that's how I got in contact with you and I think once I knew that that was offered, there was no question that was what I was having done. Just because it's important not to have for me, it was important not to have scarring, so that's what I wanted. So now all of my scars you can't see, so the, I've got one inside my belly button, which you can't see at all, and then three tiny ones underneath the bikini line. So again, no one sees that. Perfect. It's great. <laughs> what about you? Your yeah, I think mine is same. I mean, same as um, Claudia. Um, I was more concerned about the cosmetic aspect of it. I didn't want scars on my tummy because I know that, um, as I said, I'm very susceptible to keloids, and for me, it was non-negotiable. So I had to research, do a lot more of research, and that was when I came across yours. And the experience has been, you know, as I said, incredible. I, there is no scars on my tummy at all. Even the ones that you've done on my bikini line, I still can't see it. Mm. It's, it's still inconspicuous, you can't yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if I wear a bikini now, you can't see any scar. There is nothing to show that I've done, I've been through such an mm. intense surgery, yeah. you know. I think so the other thing for me it's, it's was that the, I found that the recovery was really quick. And I know that the girl obviously in Cairo as well, her recovery was really quick as well. And there were quite a few, I don't know if that's, maybe it's slightly different, I don't really know. But our mm. recovery's were really yeah. quick. And your yeah, recovery, mine, mine was quick as well. Uh, and how many days were you up and about, both of you? 
I mean, that's the first day. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. The first day, I was out and about. I didn't have any downtime. And I could have flown. I reckon There's I no probably could have. All. I could have flown home on the Tuesday, so that was day day two post off. Mm. And I felt well enough then to fly home. Fly up. So even though I stayed those extra days, I was well, and well in myself to have gone on a flight that day. Yeah. So I think that shows you how. Quick, yeah, recover. Yeah, and I even had a luxury of also visiting some amazing places in Alexandria. <laughs> yeah, Because so wow. yeah. yeah. after the surgery, I think two days after, I was out and about visiting um, Montezza Palace. I mean, guys, you got to go there. <laughs> and I was sunbathing it was, as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. an yeah. incredible place. I loved it. I really loved the really experience. Happy. You're yeah, happy and you had a wonderful experience. And they are lovely people. I mean, walking through town, yeah, yeah, yeah. so friendly. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I found. They won't even take photos with you, they yeah. chat. It's, it's an amazing experience. Yeah. And I used Uber and Karim, which is the equivalent of the Uber yeah. out there. And again, no yeah. concerns with exactly. that. No, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Happy that you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're in London today, and uh, I'll, I'll probably come uh, maybe in six months. Or mm -hmm. follow up if you're not mm. if I don't come you're coming over, right? <laughs> you're, you're planning, right? You're planning, yeah, you're planning, yeah. we're discussing. I think that. we're both coming over, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. I know where to find you and you know where to find <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, happy for you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you very yeah, much. Thank you.